Carol Vorderman branded Boris Johnson disgusting and accused him of robbing and gaslighting after the former Prime Minister announced he was quitting as an MP. The former Countdown Maths expert, now a star of Celebrity Gogglebox, has become known for her regular Twitter tirades against government corruption. And she pulled no punches yesterday, Friday, June 9, when she reacted to Johnson's decision to give up his Uxbridge and South Ryslip seat with immediate effect, as the Commons Privileges Committee issued a damning Partygate report that left him facing a suspension and a by-election. Carol tweeted, they were kicking him out anyway. Johnson, who is about to become a father for the eighth time, was reselected for his seat in March but there had long been speculation that he might seek a constituency with a healthier Tory majority to fight. Read more, Nadine's act of revenge triggered night of bloodletting the former Prime Minister said in a statement that he was bewildered and appalled that him being forced out. Carol tweeted, breaking Johnson steps down as MP after Privileges Committee declared they were kicking him out anyway. Obviously it also came with a whole pile of lying crap from this disgusting piece of robbing gas lighting. You can complete the rest. Thoughts? Johnson's announcement came on the day it was revealed that he had given carriages and other titles to a number of former political allies and aides in the honors list traditionally drawn up by outgoing PMs. Don't miss! Piers Morgan demands Boris Johnson's honors list be scrapped immediately, report, want vote for a snake. Red Wall lost under Sunak, say voters as Boris quits, report, Sunak warn more to follow Boris to exit door sparking Tory civil war, report, Carol commented, so first he makes lords of blokes who organized parties for 200 people in Downing Street during lockdown. Then mocks. Always mocks. Oh, and lies. And, in his statement last night, Johnson said of the committee, chaired by Labour's Harriet Harman, and its decision that he had misled Parliament, their purpose from the beginning has been to find me guilty, regardless of the facts. This is the very definition of a kangaroo court. Johnson's seat will now be up for grabs in a by-election that is sure to be hotly contested. The Conservatives also face defending the Mid-Bedfordshire seat vacated by former Cabinet Minister Nadine Dorries. Dorries, a staunch Johnson ally, said early yesterday she would not quit because she did not want to fight a by-election, only to change her mind hours later. It then emerged she had not been given the peerage for which she had been hotly tipped in the Johnson honours list. The Privileges Committee will meet on Monday to conclude its inquiry into whether Johnson misled MPs and plans to publish its report promptly following the former Prime Minister's resignation from the Commons, a spokesman said. Responding to Johnson's resignation, a spokesperson for the Privileges Committee said, The committee has followed the procedures and the mandate of the House at all times and will continue to do so. Mr. Johnson has departed from the processes of the House and has impugned the integrity of the House by his statement. The committee will meet on Monday to conclude the inquiry and to publish its report promptly.